of Clear Lake right there is going to be taken on Rathbun of Center Point Urbana. Two black and gold schools going to be going at in the finals. Leisure from Clear Lake. And the Storman Pointer. Rathbun of Center Point Urbana. Freshman versus sophomore. Starting to go through these things, trying to write them down, talk, and, and follow the rest and all at once. Yeah. It's not an easy job, Alan. No, it's not. And there's uh, four maps to, to follow all the way through here, too, and a lot of weight classes coming through to make it happen as well. Yeah, so we have Gold, uh, Brennan Gold and Cox on map five. And Luna, Luna Etherington on map three. And now down here on map four, we're moving up to 26. This should be uh, Darian Schwanke and Shadow Leshen. Mark Shadow Leshen set a record in this state for coming into a postseason tournament with 58 wins, unheard of. I don't know how you can get that many wins coming in. I don't know what these, these say, but he had 58 wins after districts. Unbelievable. I don't even know how you can get to that. Well, one. his record right here after two matches into the tournament so far, he's 60 and 0, so that stands true. I think I was, when I wrestled in high school, I got 30, maybe 40 <laughs> matches in the entire year. That's it's, a lot it's of matches. It's amazing that they can get so many nowadays. It, it has been growing. A lot of, you hear a lot of your uh, two and three time champions, the numbers are outstanding. Amazing how many wins they pick up. Shadow Leshen, he's a three time place winner, of course, two time runner up. And uh, 58 matches is just a lot of work. Taking on a very tough swanky here from Atlantic. The other thing is that's a lot of weigh-ins. <laughs> that definitely is. For a 126-pounder, he better be comfortable at that weight to be able to pull that off. Swanky's number three. Leshen is number one. And Leshen also got eighth as a freshman, as I mentioned, two-time runner-up. Swanky's had a lot of injuries. This kid's really tough. Uh, a stud senior who's never placed there's a lot of that because it's a tough sport you don't always place it no matter how good you are injuries uh, step up and bite you tough match going on over to three as well as Luna is able to get an escape over there and looks like he goes up 3-1 he's taken on Arrington of Central City 28 and 3 junior coming into this match right down here on mat number six the green singlet on top that's Jennings of Osage Taking on Phillips, West Delaware. Brady Jennings, uh, older brother of Brock Jennings. Big freshman for Osage. Brady has been around, two-time place winner, a fifth place winning, finished last year at 120. He was sixth as a, as a freshman at 113. Kind of a mismatch here. Uh, Phillips has come. You know, he's eighth rated, guys, but he's, he wasn't given a lot of hope in this bracket coming in here. A very tough weight class. But he's made it this far, and he's running up against Jennings here. Doing well so far, just down 2 up. Leeson of Albia and Schwenke of Atlantic tied up 0-0 at the end of that first period. Now it's Leeson of Albia gets a one point escape in the second period. Number Leeson was 60 and 0 coming into this match. Schwenke of Atlantic only 50 and 1. <laughs> so out of 110 matches, they've got one loss between the two of them. Basically. What was their rankings coming into this? Number one and number three, Leshen is number one. Schwenke number three ranked in the predicaments rankings. The rankings have held up really well, Mark. We only have one, if you can believe this, out of the 14 weight classes, the four finalists at each weight. We only have one unranked wrestler. So they found a way to get through these brackets. Remember, folks, they're not seated. It's just a template. It's random draw. They throw them in there, and what you get, that's why we saw Carter Happel wrestling one, uh, Hunter Washburn a little bit earlier in the 1 8 quarters. That was a 1 versus a 2. It happens. Jennings from Osage almost out on the bottom. Thought he was going to get a reversal there. Down there on that red mat, mat number six. Trying to come up in the air with it here. Dustin West Delaware, Manchester's Phillips. Sam Phillips, 41 and 4 senior on the year. He does get that reversal. Jennings from Osage. And folks, if you're if you're watching your mat at home on our screen here, you see the big split screen, you see all four mats. 
We may not be saying a lot about your match. We apologize for that. Trying to watch for it once is a little tougher than we thought. However, you can clearly see the score in the middle there, and you can see your mat. And just as long as you know who's red and who's green, you're in good shape. We'll try to get you as much uh, coverage as we can. Now. And if you can't, having a hard time reading the screen, the MT on the far left, that's the mat. So right underneath that MT, it says a three. So mat number three. And the next one is uh, WT, which is the weight. So 120, bout, which people back home have no idea what that is going to do for them because they probably don't have a bout sheet in front of them like what we do. If you printed that off online, though, you're in good shape. Yeah, you're in really good shape. And obviously, the score and the time. And the PR on the far right with the numbers underneath those, those are the period. What period that they're in, either one, two, or three. Right now, Matt's three, four, and five are all in the third period. And then Matt number six is still in the second. So that's what makes it hard, too. We got three matches going to be all ending at about the same time here, funneling new people in. Four new bouts after this. All of these tight except Jennings' match, really. He's up 4 1 with 36 seconds left in the second period. And Matt, look at Luna over on uh, Matt 3, 11 seconds remaining, and he's up 3 2. Luna holding on. Right down there on Matt number 5. It was gold of Davenport Assumption winning over Cox of Atlantic by a score of 2 to 0. So Davenport Assumption advances one to another one to the finals. And Luna wins. Ruled over Cox. So big win for the senior Luna over the junior Etherington. Charles City. Luna advances. He'll take on Brennan Gould. Brendan Gould, the second ranked wrestler. Bryce, or uh, excuse me, Blake Luna, number five. So there's your 120 finals for tomorrow. Still have Leshin and Swanky. All tied up, one to one right now. In the third period, with only 25 seconds to go. Two guys with a lot of wins and only one loss. 20 seconds left here. Looks like you're going to go to see overtime happen now. Leshin has just been terrorizing opponents all year, Mark. I don't, I don't think he's seen too many overtimes. Ten seconds to go here. Look at Swanky in. Swanky's in. He got a two-point takedown right there. He got that second leg. Look at that. There he hooks it, too. Solidifies it for sure. Look at that. Very nice. I say you might see an overtime with 10 seconds to go, but that proves right there that you continue to wrestle until the last second, until that last second ticks off the clock, and that is exactly why right there. Excellent, excellent point. At MidAmerican Energy, part of putting power in your hands is helping to keep families safe. That's why MidAmerican provides free educational safety programs to schools, asks you to call 811 before you dig, have annual furnace inspections, and be aware of hazards at home. MidAmerican Energy safely delivers electricity and natural gas to us in good times and stormy ones. That's MidAmerican Energy. What is good? For us, it's a recipe that begins with one simple step, giving back. Each year, our community impact fundraising events help raise hundreds of thousands of dollars for good causes, from Little League uniforms to youth mission trips. Because we believe in serving not only the food you love, but also our communities. Pizza Ranch, always good. Back here at the Wells Fargo Arena, Class 2A semifinals here in Des Moines, Iowa. As you're watching the mats on the floor, that's three, four, five, and six. And we've had a lot of wrestling action so far here in Class 2A semifinals. Mark Ironside, Bob Selby making the call here this afternoon. And uh, some surprises already, gentlemen. Yeah, some of these guys came ready to wrestle. We just watched as we went to break a uh, three-time place winner, Shadow Leshin, with all those victories, ran up against a buzzsaw and Darian Schwenke, who was ready to go for Atlantic. Now we have, we're across three weight brackets. We have a Jennings taking care of business here at 126 on Matt Six. He wins 63. So Brady Jennings is moving on. We have a 38-pound bout down here with Oscar Ramirez on Matt number four. Oh, I'm sorry, not Oscar Ramirez. Andres Gonzalez of Clear Lake is taking on Elijah Dahl. 
on mat number four there. That's at 138, and we have a pair of 32 bouts going on mat number three. Mat number three, we have Clark and Slifka. Hunter Slifka of Cresco, Crestwood. Sorry, folks. These, some of these uh, abbreviations are kind of tough to remember or read, too. They changed them up on this year. Yeah. They, they really made a bad 